Hey everybody, thanks for coming to my channel, Bud Brown. Right now in uh, Ajijic, Mexico. A lot of people here in this restaurant. I put on this microphone so hopefully you can hear me a lot better than if I didn't have the microphone. There's a fella playing the harp. Makes a nice atmosphere. Muy bonito. What I wanted to uh, do in this video was just uh, let you know that you, know, you don't have to speak Spanish in this part here, Ajijic, because there's so many foreigners that speak English. And uh, oh, he's going to come around with his hat, literal hat in his hand. So, another. So here you go. So I don't know. I think that anybody who makes the effort to learn uh, how to play an instrument, sing, dance, whatever, hey, they should be rewarded. So for their effort, yeah, good. These guys are giving them some money, so that's good. But Mexican uh, Americanos are not. <laughs> Mexicans are. <laughs> so anyway, I, I was going to say that it's nice to know the language, but in this particular area, there's so many foreigners that, and I might have mentioned in another video that the requirements for this restaurant and several around here, I was told. Uh, the employees must speak English because they have so many uh, English speaking customers. So there he goes in his carrying his harp. A little bit quieter here now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, not only you don't have to speak Spanish, I mean, of course they, they like it if you do, and I tried a little experiment. There was a, let me adjust this camera. A I did a little experiment. I was, uh, went to change some money. They have a money exchange here. It's pretty good. It's about, uh, I think I got about 19 pesos to the dollar. So Gloria had saved up a whole bunch of ones, $1 bills, and she wanted to cash it in. So, okay. So I was had as hesitant because uh, a lot of places, uh, even exchanges, they don't want $1 bills. They want minimum $20 bill, 20, 50, 100, like that. You, you go ask them to change a, a few $1 bills, they're not gonna do it. And as with this place here, yesterday, as we were going back, I stopped there just to ask them because I knew Gloria wanted to exchange her $1 bill. So I said, do you take uh, $1 bills? She said, only, only a minimum of uh, 30. Lo and behold, I counted them, exactly 30. So I said, okay, can you, she said, uh, see your passport, please. Uh, I don't carry my passport around. So, but fortunately I had, well, I thought it was fortunately that I had a, uh, I, I had a photo. She said, no, no, because we have to make a copy of it and, I don't know what all. So, okay. Well, I'm talking in Spanish this whole time. So today we came here, had my passport in my pocket. And so I waited in line for this other few people there. Came my turn and I said, in Spanish, I hope I didn't misunderstand you. Mal entender is to understand. Uh, to understand is entiendo, and many times people just say comprendo because it sounds like comprehend. <laughs> no, no comprendo, no entiendo. But anyway, I said, I hope I didn't misunderstand you. You just, only thing I needed was my passport, right? Yes, okay. So I showed him my passport and I'm looking, I don't know why I'm nervous about it. I mean, with the valid passport, I just had it renewed. 
And yet I'm thinking, I don't know where this comes from. Was it Philippines or what? But I'm kind of half expecting her to say, oh, wait a minute, that little eye doesn't have a dot on it. <laughs> so, but she looked at it and then she started do, putting information into the computer. So I told her, Está bien? is it okay? Yeah, Está bien. and so um, next I take out this wall. Of course, it's about this thick because it's all one, it's $31 bills. So I gave it to her. She's counting it. And once again, I'm getting nervous. Oh man, did I miscount it? Or did I accidentally bring 29 instead of 30? Why am I thinking this way? Why am I thinking that something's going to go wrong? Oh my gosh. So, anyway, and then she took out a couple. The very corners were folded just a little bit. So she straightened out the corners and, you know, made sure it was nice and crisp. And then she put it in the machine and it's, you know, it counts it. And of course I got to joke around with her. I said, is that one, of the, is that machine like that's what you have in your house to count the money? <laughs> she said, I wish. I said, me too. So we're talking in Spanish this whole time, right? So after she gives me, and by the way, it was uh, it was 570 pesos. <clears throat> Supposedly it was uh, 19 and change for, for a dollar. But anyway, I, I said in Spanish, oh, by the way, oh, uh, a propósito. She looks at me, yes. I said in English, I said, do you speak English? No. Okay. Todos modos, gracias, todos modos, thanks anyway. So I said to myself, well, I guess not everybody speaks English, or maybe they do, but they don't want to say it. And uh, it, as long as they know you understand Spanish, then they'll just say no English. I th I'm going to do another video about the gestures. It's going to be very interesting. And I'll just show you, tell you one right now that, <clears throat> you know, English has gestures, of course, like, you know, money or okay. But here, some of the gestures, I'm not sure if you can figure out. I'm just going to tell you two right now and then another video, another two. So if they go, they tap the elbow, you know what that means? Well, the word is codo, and it means a cheapskate. He's a cheapskate. I've heard two explanations on the origin of that. One, he won't even bend his elbow to reach in for a penny to give a somebody and then another one was it represents the patches on an old coat somebody's is very poor so i don't know that one and another one you can probably figure out from just the context i said man we went into a nightclub the other day it was it was packed man it was packed and so of course this up but it's up like this it means the people are so crowded together. They're like rubbing elbows as they go through the restaurant. <laughs> so anyway, I'm fascinated by these gestures. And every country has some. And, and on this next video, when I'm going to do the whole thing on gestures, I would really like people that have been to other countries and learned other gestures just to let me know because I think it's fascinating. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for coming by. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.